What is going on YouTube? One on the X-Room here and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a fun, interesting, and really just a unique riding experience type of day. Uh, we get to ride something that I've, I've really been wanting to for a while, even though I've actually ridden two other variants of it. We have the 2021 MV Augusta Rush 1000 RR Brutale, like to even add Brutale back to the name, I don't know. But it is the Rush 1000 is actually my favorite variant of it, the first one. Look at that thing. I've done many reviews of the Brutale 1000 RR, so I'll put the links around for you guys to check it out because go into the tech and the electronics and the engine, all those fun specs. But I wanna to touch on how unique and special the Rush is. 2021 MV Augusta Brutale Rush 1000 RR. <laughs> this fine gentleman right here will allow me to ride his one of 300 beasts. This isn't really going to be a review because I've got a ton of Brutale uh, reviews from all the electronics and the mechanics. So we'll put a link in the description and somewhere up above. But uh, yeah, let's take for a ride and we'll go over some really cool bits about this beast. So with the Flyer CCU and the particular settings that the owner here put on his bike, the throttle response is so much more tame. Uh, before it was very choppy, especially race mode. I mean, they're supposed to be choppy race mode, very responsive. But now the power just kind of comes on beautifully smooth, like an inline four should. Remember, we do have some cold tires, so nothing too crazy. But the bike just handles like crazy. And it's something that I will point out later. Uh, with the foot pegs really makes a difference for this bike because on the track I wasn't a huge fan of it because of the way the rear sets felt and I'll talk about that in a minute so you want a little behind the scenes of how things work uh, we had a wonderful wonderful drone shot set up up there, all those mountains. And uh, unfortunately, Cody, well, he does come through, his equipment failed him. Sad, it happens, but we're still gonna get some cool drone stuff. So ladies and gentlemen, you have a quick behind the scenes of what it's like to try to shoot this stuff. It is not easy, especially when you don't have closed roads or anything like that. You got to deal with the public in public places. It's very annoying. Uh, but, you know, I was able to take this ultimate iteration of the Brutale, the Rush 1000 RR, and really get to experience it. Me personally, I think this is how Brutale should really feel the way the power is delivered, the custom map that the owner put on this as far as the throttle response and everything really makes it a, a nice, easy thing to ride. And even though it's still a monster, like once you open it, it just goes into this killer mode. But I always saw it as a beast and this is definitely that cranked up a few notches. Another piece I really like about this particular rush is he put on different brakes i think they look really cool and they really match the design of that carbon rear cover the next controversial piece is this guy envy augusta says it helps reduce the drag coefficient when you're hauling ass down the road um whether or not that's true i don't know but i think it's super unique and i've never seen a bike with a cover like this except for those that do the ultra high speed runs well for envy to put on a street bike i think is really unique the next piece is this tail section if you look at the Brutale initially, it's got this look that's like this, and you can kind of see through the tail. Well, they took all that out, put this little, I'm gonna call it a goatee, if you will. Like imagine a face, little guy right here. <laughs> that's what this looks like, but it's, it's futuristic. And it really singles out this tail piece. So like, when you look at it, it's a very good focal point. And again, it's one of those design pieces that you go, man, that's, uh, 
That's interesting. So the last piece that I actually kind of like, I don't know that's very controversial, is the exhaust. I'm pretty sure it's a slip on. It doesn't look like a complete system because you still have a nice cat down there. But I think it gives a little more bass to the exhaust sound. And the other major thing that it did is it changed the foot position to the stock one. I had a problem at the track with the regular 1000R where my heel would actually come and it would hit this piece right here and I couldn't rotate my feet properly on it and I was always trying to find a good position. Riding this today, there's nothing there for your heel to hit. All right, so I have Chris with the owner of this beautiful NV Augusta Rush 1000 and uh, one amazing machine. And two, you know, why NV Augusta? Why the brand? Because I know you've been with them for a long time. Yes, I got started with them because I wanted something different. <clears throat> and I'd had several Ducatis in the past. Uh, I don't know, I had lots of 900 Super Sports in the 70s, and I had uh, 916s, 996s. Yeah. And when I saw the F4 come out, and especially in a 1000cc version, I thought it was the most beautiful bike I'd ever seen. I'd agree. So I kind of, I thought the 996s and 916s had become pretty popular and uh, common by then. Yeah. So I thought, again, I want something different. So that's when I got an F4, got another F4 after that. Uh, I've been through a couple of three Brutales. I've had an 800RR triple, mm -hmm. Lewis Hamilton. Oh yes, that's a beautiful bike. I've seen that in person too. <laughs> right, and the F4s I had was a Tamburini and an Augustini. If you don't know those, look yeah. those up. They're very rare. <laughs> yes, and uh, when and it, uh, ironically, when this first came out was and debuted at the Milan show, mm. I didn't like it. Yeah, I thought it was too bizarre. I thought the rear wheel was ridiculous. I there was a whole lot about it I didn't like. But the more I looked at it over the next several months, the more it grew on me and I really liked it. And the next thing I knew, I had to have one. And with On Any Moto's help, yeah. here in Tucson, they were able to source one for me. And uh, here we are. All right. Yeah, man, thank you so much. You bet, you're welcome. This is a wonderful experience. Again, this really wasn't a review type video. I just wanted to showcase how gorgeous this rush is. It is a truly unique piece. I want to thank Toad.pv for doing the drone shots. We had some issues to begin with, but we worked through them and still got just some amazing, amazing footage. But with that, I hope you all enjoyed this video, enjoyed this rush. Again, there's 24 in the US. When are you going to see another one? With that, you all have a good one. I'm out. <laughs>